Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3 of my Game Maker Box 2D Physics Tutorials. I'm going to be showing you how to make a gun today. So, it's just going to be really basic. It's just going to shoot little balls. Okay, so we'll start off with some sprites. Um, again, this is going off the previous tutorials. So, I've got the stuff there from those. Okay. Now, make a new sprite and call it something like Sprite Gun. Yeah, 32 will work. And I'm just going to make a rectangle. Something like that will do. Make it green. And crop it. Okay. That's going to be my little gun sprite, and then you also want a bullet sprite, so again, make a new sprite. Call it SPR bullet, or whatever else you might want to call it. And my one's just going to be 16 by 16. And it can just be a circle. Okay. Okay. Now, first object we're going to do is the bullet. So, make a new object. Name on object bullet. And then give it the sprite. Tick uses physics. Circle collision shape. And parent it to the dynamic parent. Okay. Now we want a object for our gun as well, so make another object, call it OBJ gun, or whatever else you want to call it, and give it the sprite. Now this isn't going to be using physics, this is just for shooting. Okay, um, first thing you want to do is get a create event going. So, get a create event, I'm just going to make it small. Shrink that down a bit, there we are. Okay, create event and put in a code block. And then I'm going to make two variables, one called P for our shot power, so I'm going to set mine to 3000, and one called A for our aim. Okay. Then I'm going to go into the draw event and add a code block in there. And then I'm just going to write draw sprite ext, and then sprite index image index x and y 1 for x scale and 1 for our y scale the rotation is a color is c white and the alpha is 1 ok so that's just going to draw our sprite at the right rotation for where we're aiming and then we can get, go into the step event and make it shoot actually not step event cancel that yes the step event <laughs> Okay, step event. So A equals point direction X and Y and then mouse X and mouse Y. And what that does is it sets our aim variable to point at the direction from this object to the mouse. Um something cool that they've just added in Game Maker recently with a new update, don't know if anyone else has found this yet, but you can have multiple code blocks open at once now so uh, I've got one there and then I can have one here as well so you can edit um, multiple things at the same time so that's pretty handy anyway okay mouse and then you want global mouse global mouse and then I'm gonna go with left pressed for mine and then just put in another code block and now we can make it shoot. So, when the mouse is pressed, we want to set a variable i to the instance ID, so instance create x, y, and object bullet. Just like that. Okay, then we want to apply a force to the bullet to make it move, so I'm going to go with i 
so the object that we just made and then I'm going to go physics apply impulse and then we use this impulse to send it on its way. Okay, x and y position. It's just going to be x and y. Now, remembering that using with i, we go, we pretty much go into this object, and this code is being executed inside this object. So, yeah, anything we write in here. So variables. These variables no longer apply to the object that I'm writing this in, but the object i that will be created in the actual game. Okay, x impulse. So we want to go other dot p. Hang on, what's wrong? Sorry. Okay, x plus length direction x. Okay. Now for the length, we're going to go other dot p, and for the direction, we're going to go other dot a. And then we pretty much just do the same for y, except instead of x plus length direction x, it's y plus length direction y. And then it's pretty much the same again, so other dot p and other dot a. And that's it. Okay, now using the other. Um, because we are executing this code inside of the object that will be created when we shoot, um, the other variable gets assigned with the object ID from which we are telling the code to be executed. So, I'm trying to find an easy way to explain this. Um, let's say we had I for our object, and then the other one was just O. Okay. So when we ex start making code in I, then in i, its other variable gets set to o's id, if that makes any sense. So o being the object that creates i, and then o's id is set to i's other variable. So I guess i dot other would equal o dot id. That kind of thing. Hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. So then we can just hit OK, and then we're just going to put our gun into the room. So we'll go object gun, put that in there, and then we should be about to execute it. i just check something. Okay, I didn't center this, so I'm going to do that. Just hit center, and the bullet, so I did center. Okay. Now we're ready to play. So run the game. And as you can see, the gun aims at a mouse, click, and it shoots. Let's try and shoot that block off the platform. Um, yeah, we can make that swing more now as well, just by shooting it. So, yeah, it all works. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. This one was a nice little quick one for you. Um like, subscribe, again, set up a Facebook page, like that as well, if you can, please, I'll put a link in the description to it, and yeah, see you next time.